Hey guys, La Muerta Divius, the ninth chapter, nine, ninth chapter in the La Muerta series, uh, brought to you by Coffin Comics. Uh, today we're talking cover process for La Muerta Divius. Normally when I turn something in uh, to Mike and Brian, they'll kind of go over the uh, layouts or rough sketches of whatever it is that we're working on. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun if we started off with La Muerta Devious and the cover process. That way you guys can get a little bit of insight on how we go about creating a Coffin Comics cover, specifically a La Muerta Coffin Comics cover. Uh, so I thought I'd take you behind the scenes for the process and hopefully we'll get to see some other stuff as well throughout the whole series. I'm planning on doing a bunch of these little mini kind of uh, videos uh, to share how we go about doing the pages once I get the script approved from Brian, written by Mike McLean, uh, and we just get cracking on some of the webta. So let's, uh, let's take a look at these uh, layouts. First off, I've got to mention that um, Brian and Mike have requested two covers from me for this particular chapter. And so here we have uh, uh, cover one and cover two here in this, uh, in this frame. So the idea was um, kind of a mirroring aspect to these covers here. We have uh, main figure here, which would obviously be Maria Diaz, AKA La Muerta. Um, and then we have here the centerpiece in the second cover, a mystery character here. We have also have a couple of large mystery characters in play here for these headshots. Um, I'll get notes from Mike and Brian regarding who the characters are in this particular chapter. And so what we'll do is we'll kind of uh, rough out some ideas. Uh, here we have Santa Muerte. Uh, we have a couple of secondary characters. We got a little sugar skull here, right? Yeah. Got a mystery dude here holding something. This guy looks kind of sad. I don't know. Upside down crucifix. Oh boy. Um, we have uh, Mexico City Cathedral. So there's a lot of information there that uh, you won't know too much about just yet, but that's that's okay. That's the point. And so, you know, I submit these roughs to Mike and Brian, and uh, the theme here was what I got from them was kind of a movie poster feel. So basically what I'll do is I'll submit that kind of a thing to the guys, right? And they, they kind of give me some feedback about it. And they'll say like, hey, uh, oh, I like this, but I don't like that. And, uh, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll kind of share the ideas of, of what we're working on. And so I got revisions back. I, got, I heard from Mike and Brian. They were like, hey, you know, this, this, and this. And I said, oh, okay, cool, cool. And uh, Brian had a, <laughs> Brian just kind of like cut, cut through everything like a knife. And he just submitted these cool concepts. He's like, why not? Beep, beep, beep. And then on this one, it's the opposite of that. And I was like, oh, that's amazing. Uh, I'm trying to share stuff with you without giving away too much and, and still share some artwork with you. So. I'll show you. Let's just check out these. All right. So here we have the second pass, right? Same idea. We got the mirroring images, right? Got two centrally placed large figures, action poses somewhat. A couple of ominous looming heads. Mirroring actions here with a smaller and a larger capacity thing. And these were all based off of what Mike and Brian gave back. And what was kind of neat because I didn't... <laughs> I didn't realize till I heard from Mike. Uh, I guess La Muerta herself is now revealed to be based in Arizona. So that was news to me, and I guess it happened in a in a in a Lady Death chapter. So I was I was amazed to hear that. So I have a little bit of that playing into the background of this. I don't know if you can see like the Phoenix Arizona Phoenix emblem here behind this. Um, so yeah, here we have the La Muerta cover, and then we have the second cover. Again, mirroring uh, actions, kind of for reflecting big themes within the story and the context, but really um, knocked out of the park with a recommendation from Brian Polito with how to handle both, and they just kind of encapsulated the whole idea much easier and simpler than how I had it in the previous layout, you know? Um, so yeah, so then uh, what we'll do then is, uh, we'll, let's, we can go over these. So this is the La Muerta side, and then on the other side we'll have the secondary character. All right, so here's one side, and here's the other. Now let's see. So here you can see based on this layout. So this is the La Muerta side here. 
kind of reflects the, what we had in that layout, right? So here we have the large figure, large figure, Santa Muerte, mystery character there, ominous head shape there. Ooh, got a little throw down here, fisticuffs, right? So this is one of the covers for La Muerte chapter nine, chapter nine, devious, right? And so here is the second cover. Again, reflecting the same qualities that we had in the uh, layout, suggested as, uh, as it was by Brian Polito uh, and Mike. And you see all the elements here. We got like the Mexican eagle, upside down crucifixes, mystery character. Ooh. Another battle. See this, the mirroring aspects here? We got a couple of battles. We got a small version and we got the adult version. I'm not trying to spell it out here, but it's pretty evident, right, guys? I like this little emblem that we put in for Phoenix. So, yeah, I'll just give you a basic rundown, a little bit of room here for our logo dress, the Muerta logo. Yeah, so it just kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing. What do you think of that, right? Some cool covers for La Muerta Devious, Chapter 9, brought to you by Coffin Comics. Yeah, so again, uh, grateful to have you guys on board here, checking this out, messing with my little gimbal to get this <laughs> this filming thing going, right? Um, yeah, look, it, it follows me. But yeah, so this is kind of uh, the first of hopefully many videos for La Muerta Devious. I want to take you guys behind the scenes in the process of how the uh, the pencils and inks, the art kit put together uh, before we send it off to our amazing colorist, C.C. De La Cruz, who then passes it off, or maybe at the same time as Marshall Dillon. I don't know. But uh, this is all straight from uh, Brian Polito and Mike McLean. I get the scripts. I send the rough out the layouts. Um, once those get approved, then we turn in these massive, awesome, really cool covers. So. Again, La Muerta Divias in the works should be slated for sometime February, January, late January, February, somewhere on their release. I think it's February. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Uh, keep your eyes peeled here. Uh, follow me on Joel Gomez Art YouTube and all the socials on Instagram, Joel Gomez Art as well, and on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure you'll find these videos as well on coffincomics.com. Uh, I'm really excited to get this chapter going and I and, uh, can't wait to get it into your hands. So thank you so much, guys, uh, and uh, stay tuned for more videos coming soon.